Hey everyone, Mama Seven and Blessed here. Um, here to make just this quick video. I am kind of stuffy, so you gotta excuse me. I'm hoping you guys can hear me well. Um, I'm just getting over a bad cold um, that I got from my kids since they started school. But um, I wanted to make this quick video um, because you, there's like been some things on my heart, and not only that, God is like showing me some things. Like He's really showing me some things, and I'm really recognizing the season that we're in. And I just want to um, put this video out there. Um, have you ever been in a situation with whether it be a family member, a spouse, a child, a friend, and you go through with these people, and it seems like you constantly going this, around the same uh, mountain with these people. You give them the benefit of the doubt, or they do certain things that they know better than to do, and they keep doing it over and over and over again. And you're like, um, come on, like... Not only are you hurting yourself, but you're hurting me. Because I'm the person in your life that's been there for you, that has uh, accepted you for who you are. So usually, you know, people in their right mind, when people accept them for who they are, their heart, um, their stony heart becomes flesh. And they begin to change because they're appreciative of the fact that people accept, accepted them in their mess. The same way when... Um, God accepts you in your mess. You know, you want to repent and turn from your wicked ways because he's so good. He didn't have to take you up, pick you up, clean you off, dust you off, and put you and keep you in a good situation. You know what I mean? Trinity, I'm making a video. Be quiet. So, you know, um, my main thing with this is that God has really been speaking to my spirit. And he's been speaking about destruction. And I just put a post on my Facebook that God had put on my heart. And it says that um, there's a short road to destruction. And just because it feels good and looks good does not mean it's safe. And, you know, I just want to put out there that anything that starts in deception will end in destruction. I don't care who you are or what you are. If you can't respect the people that are around you and the people that are in your life and the people that have been there for you, if you can't respect them enough to keep it 100 with them, to let them know what's really going on, to let them know your weaknesses, then you don't. Then you deserve everything coming to you. It might sound harsh, but that's the season that we're in. I'm here to tell people that's watching this video, if you're in a situation or if you're going through some things where you are dealing with people that can't respect you people that you know take you for granted every day people that you know that you've been good to them the best you know how and they still don't appreciate what God has given them do understand that we are in that season where God is going to unfold everything he's going to show every situation he's going to bring to light every situation and what it is he's going to bring it to light so do not worry about you know, the pain that you feel, do not worry about the hurt that you feel. Because guess what? When God reveals what's really going on to you, when God reveals to you the deception and how people don't respect you enough to, to be loyal to you or whatever it may be. It don't necessarily have to be loyalty. It just could be... Uh, <clears throat> It just could be, you know, including you in family functions. It could be, you know, um, making you look like a like like you're 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 not doing things right when you really are, and you're doing them according to what God has called you to. Do understand that God is going to bring to light every situation that has started in deception and destruction. And I'm here to say that you don't have to fight this battle anymore. Because a lot of times we go to God, but we fight the battle in our own way. We fight the battle because we feel like we're so hurt that God can't come or he can't act quick enough. You don't want to sit down and see this person sleep peacefully. You don't want to see this person move peacefully because you know the evil and the evil motives that are behind the person's actions. But at the end of the day, we are in a season before 2013 ends where those people who are living in deception, those people who have no integrity, those people who walk around like you know it's just business as usual and they could keep doing what they're doing they will reap what they sow in this season and I'm not saying this with any malice in my heart because you know what I feel the peace of God he's giving me peace and he wants me to understand that the wait is over when he says the wait is over the wait is over there's no more sitting back struggling being sick going through watching people treat you any kind of way do you wrong disrespect you take you for granted and God is not going to move 
there's going to be no more of that. Now what it is, is that everything that people do will be exposed extremely to the light. To the light to the point where it will blind everybody around because they will have to see the person and the situation for what it is. So my advice to anybody who's sitting back waiting, who has sitting back for years, who has sit back and struggled with, with hurt, pain, and just feeling like nobody's there, no one's understand, do understand this is your season. God is going to reveal it. If they choose not to get right, he will remove them himself out of your life. Because you have a purpose and a plan for your life. And the purpose and the plan that God put you here was not for people to abuse you. Not for people to disrespect you. Not for people to take you for granted. But for you to give God the glory with everything that you do. Whether it's be a mother. Whether it's to be a teacher. Whether it's to be a... a, a um, <clears throat> whatever God has called you to do. And you know you're doing it... With the purpose and the plan that he has put in your spirit. And you know that you're not living a life where you're trying to purposely hurt other people. Or you're not trying to manipulate or use other people. God will not bless that. I don't care who you are or what you are. And let me just say this to married couples. If you feel like you cannot go to your spouse. The worst thing you could ever do is go to the opposite sex. Especially someone who you are attracted to. Because if you go to someone who you are attracted to. What you're doing is you're feeding your flesh. Because you're in the back of your mind seeking an opportunity to bond with this person so eventually you can either have a sexual relationship or emotional relationship nobody can be fooled by these situations because one person just because one person don't respond one way don't mean that god won't respond a certain way and he will put everything on blast just like a woman cannot raise a male child on her own she needs a man somewhere down the line to help raise that man so that he can be a man there's no reason that a man should go to a woman to find out anything about a woman because at the end of the day only a real man could teach a boy how to be a man same thing goes for a woman you don't go to the opposite sex you don't go to that man because at the end of the day the enemy is subtle flesh is weak no matter what and if you look good and if they look good and you're attracted to each other what happens is the enemy gets to be in the mix because you're out of order when you're out of order the devil's in the mix god is not in the mix what people need to think about is this day who you going to serve if you walk around praying to god and talking about you praying to god and talk god told you this god told you that you need to examine the god that you're serving because the true and the living god the the, the, the god who created the heavens and the earth he's the one who's running this and at the end of the day, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter you talking about Buddha, Allah, Muhammad, whoever you talking about, the true and living God is the only one who could expose you. Especially when you go to the opposite sex, or especially when you step outside of the boundaries that God has put you in to keep you safe. What he do, he will expose you because that's the choice that you make. People make mistakes. Yes, they make mistakes. But when they do it over and over and over again, it's a choice. And the choice says, this is what you want do and God says okay now <clears throat> this is the person I've given you they have my spirit so when you come against them you come against me that's what God's saying when you come against this person who has adopted my spirit you coming against me because now when you're outside of the will you're an enemy of God point blank period good and evil bad and good I mean, come on, there's no other way. It's simple. It's elementary. So when people decide that they want to go out and they want to do whatever they want to do, they want to take people for granted, you can't come boohooing, saying sorry, sorry, sorry all the time because sorry don't cut it. What it is is change your life. And you can't change your life without changing your mind. How do you change your mind? Stop filling yourself up with crap. Stop watching the, 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 the freaking reality shows that has no morals. Stop listening to music that's talking about having sex with hoes and sleeping with this one and sleeping with that one and how this one did this and how this one did that. If that's what you feed in your spirit, that's what you will become. Point blank period. You have to know how to take those things with a grain of salt. And if you can't, and if you really want your spirit to get right, then you'll fast from that type of stuff. That's what you have to do. You have to fast. Sometimes fasting is what causes things to happen quicker. Okay? Fasting does not always mean shut it down from food. Because some people know how to eat when they're hungry and that's it. Okay? I believe fasting is a sacrifice from something that you know is a total complete distraction from hearing God. You won't know God unless you spend time with Him so that you can hear Him. Point blank. Period.
Okay, when it comes down to living a moral life, if you do not go to God, there's nothing that you can figure out yourself with how to live a moral life. Because at the end of the day, the person that you put on high esteem, their flesh also. And when they fall, you will fall right along with them because you have idolized a false God. There is only one God, and that is the Most High. And if you can't follow Him, then you might as well cancel everything that you thought you had going for you because guess what? It will end in destruction. So what I am saying when I'm saying this video is that God is not playing. I realize just from experiences in my own life, he's not playing. Whoever's out there and you know you're doing wrong, take this video as a, more, a warning. And, and guess what? If I warn you, somebody else will warn you and somebody else will warn you. Because God said in his word, out of the mouths of two or three witnesses, he will make his word known. So those who understand that they don't want to raise their eyes up in hell saying, oh my God, Jesus saved me. It's going to be too late then. Okay, make sure you understand nobody is tomorrow promised tomorrow. Nobody is promised the next year. Nobody's promised the next month. You choose to take for granted the life that has that God has given you that so many people want to live that so many people will give anything to come back around to live and live it right. Okay, when you when we have so much destruction and so much failure around us, who would want to take the chance to risk everything? It's a sad day. This is what it is. I hope this uh, video blesses somebody. Until then, you guys have a blessed day.